What's going on guys? Today we're going to be finishing up the S4. It's already vinyl and we're going to be putting some final touches on it. We have the wing, we have the S4 badge. I'm actually going to leave the Audi emblem off for now. I know it's kind of weird and you know you want to make sure that the peasants know that you drive an Audi, but I think it looks really clean with just the S4 emblem and the wing. You'll see. I also have a new RS4 grill for the front of the car that has the Quattro at the bottom of it. And we have some fog lights and a couple other odds and ends to finish up here. So I have the spoiler set where I want it to be. I'm gonna mark it from the edge. What you guys did miss is me actually taking all my old 3M tape off of the bottom of the swing and putting this new tape on. So uh, yeah, that was not fun. That was like a half hour. My hands hate me right now. Oops, good thing the car's vinyl. All right, this is the part where we lift it up and we commit. That took way longer than it should have. So as far as the S4 badge goes, I actually took some measurements before I took the badge off. And this line is actually horizontal. If I step back, you can see it's horizontal. Um, so I just measured this with a level. And what I'm gonna do now is put my S4 badge, I'm gonna mark the distance. It's two and a half inches from the edge for the S and then a little bit more for the four. Um, I need to go back and look at my pictures for that. I don't remember the number. But I'm gonna mark it with a Sharpie and then I'll just stick the badge on and hope that it's straight. All right, so I have it mocked up again. Um, again, two and a half inches from the edge is my little mark here. This is two and a half inches, and then this is five inches. That would match the tip of the four. I think the biggest struggle is gonna be getting the four straight. So I'm gonna work on getting the S down first, and then once that's done, I'll worry about the four. I don't know why I did this to myself, because I have to pull all this tape off, but we'll make it happen, I guess. Don't need the tape anymore. Because if I messed up, I messed up. That's actually pretty well done. This thing sat in customs from China for like a week. Just sat in New Jersey for whatever reason. Boom. Well, here it is. I've been wanting one of these for a while. It's got the Quattro emblems. We'll take this plate thing off. And we got to get rid of the RS4 badge because I do not drive an RS4. But we'll get the Audi emblems on here and I'll catch up with you guys in a second. So here we go, we got the front plate off, we got the RS4 badge off. Um, these are actually plastic, so this is where the uh, Euro plate mounted to. I'm going to have Powen bring over his Dremel and we're going to try to Dremel these out at least a little bit because I hate the way that that looks. And then these are the parking assist holders, but what's interesting about those is if you flip the grill over, someone on the forums pointed out that they're just hot glued in here. So I'm going to heat this glue up with a heat gun and see if I can't just pull this thing out. Gross. Come on. Come on. That is disgusting. Another day. The boys are here. Woo! The car is here. The front bumper is one bolt away from uh, coming off. Good. We're real close. This side's off. That side has one bolt left. We're gonna make it happen. All right. Well, we drove to Chris's with no grill in the car. It looked really funny. Um, got the headlight washer covers out. We're finally going to do the front bumper and the car will be complete. So, there's your color difference for reference. Many, many hours have passed. We have this done. Uh, we're wrapping the bottom half of the bumper now. And hopefully, if all goes according to plan, that may be it. And I also wrapped one piece of the window trim there. And then I stopped here because we do a seam in the middle and I messed this part up and then I quit. All right, it's very late, so I haven't been filming that much, but Chris has been absolutely crushing it on the window trim. It took me forever to do the top and he's already done the rest of it. Um, the grill is in. Can't really see the quattro at the bottom, but this looks sick. And the black trim is gonna look so good with the rest of the black trim. I'm very excited. I also dremeled out the uh, parking sensors so you can't see where they were. It's pretty exciting. Almost one in the morning, so moving quick here, but uh, got some Nokia Hyper Yellow Fogs going into the car because believe it or not, you can't see anything with these dim bulbs, and when you put HID bulbs in there, all the fog reflects back at you too. So, yellow bulbs it is for functionality. So what we ended up having to do here on the front bumper, it's all wrapped, but this piece down here is actually one separate piece of vinyl. <laughs> 
and there's even an overlay right here that you can't really tell is there. Um, this just angle doesn't really make itself friendly to vinyl, and the way that this gap is and the big gap there, uh, it just made it easier doing a couple pieces, but the whole car is done. Um, we have some ECS carbon pieces that you see in the next video or you saw in the unveil video, but I think it looks fantastic. Super happy with how it came out. The yellow fogs look great, especially at night. And of course, the wing sits perfectly. There's a little bit of a gap on both sides, just like how it's designed to be. It looks awesome. And for those who are asking, the grill came from an Audi Zine group buy that is no longer going on. Um, I guess you can find them on eBay. Uh, not really sure where else to tell you to find them, unfortunately. As always, thank you guys for watching. Go out there and spread some positivity, and I will catch you guys in the next video. And yes, I filmed this outro on my phone.